It's been a few years now since I worked on the Arrow train here. If you look at my last video, you can see how I powered it using a Kato truck and a CD drive motor. That works nicely, smooth and quiet. I was also working on the passenger cars to make them run more smoothly. Because of the original assembly here with just the um, very simple four wheel system, two axle, I had a hard time keeping it on the track going over rough spots like this. Sometimes it would derail going over a switch or just another rough spot, even after I tried adding weight to it. Sometimes it stays on here, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of inconsistent. So I came up with an experimental replacement chassis by cutting up some plastic sheet. It's uh, kind of flimsy, but it worked very well. And I used this self-equalizing um, axle system here for just one of the axles and yeah that worked very well smoothed it out quite a bit and I didn't have any problems with traction at all using that so now that I've got my 3d printer I decided to expand on that by creating this whole um, combination chassis and interior that fits straight into the shell derailed with a tiny bump so I used the same self-equalizing axle system here so that can go back and forth a bit the other one is solid I have a couple intermountain wheels stuck into there so they're very smooth rollers and if you watch it going over the rough track it has absolutely no problems at all even when it's even when the one axle kind of dips down like that into the switch the other wheel stays perfectly on the rails, no lifting at all. So the traction is much better, the operation is smoother, more reliable and more, more consistent. And even without the weight added in, works extremely well. Honestly, it doesn't need much of anything at all. So in addition to working better, it also looks better because of the seating that fits straight into the car. It's visible through the windows. I know it's not 100% accurate, but it looks good enough. And there's plenty of space under here, so if I want to add any lighting, I can just stick in some wipers for the wheels, run a couple wires up, and have some lights mounted in the roof. And that'll be very convenient. Now I did see recently that um, Bowser English has come up has come up with their own replacement chassis for the passenger cars as well as a brand new power chassis for the aerotrain engine. It's got a Stewart drive system, so it'll definitely run very well. So if you don't have a 3D printer of your own, it's a very good option for anyone who owns one of these aerotrains. And the price is pretty reasonable, I think, too. I mean, the power chassis, he says $80, but it's only like uh, $10, $12 for the passenger car chassis. So that's definitely one other option, but for anyone who does have a 3D printer, I will actually be putting this online for free download for anyone who wants it. So all you got to do is uh, get that file, load it into your printer, and off it goes. And when it prints out, um, this is what you get. It's coming out a little messy on my printer. I've got a little fine tuning to do, but you get the just the chassis interior piece here. You get the solid axle holder that glues underneath. And you get two of these parts here, which also glue in place underneath. And then you get the moving axle piece, which uh, you can see lines up with those holes in these two smaller ones to swivel back and forth like that. And all you need to complete it is some uh, 1 8 inch brass tubing to cut into pieces to use as bearings and as a pin for the holes there. And with the, I use K&S brand brass tubing, with that installed, the Ender Mountain 33 inch wheels fit perfectly and roll very smoothly. I just cut pieces, um, two pieces to fit into each side, 
each about uh, maybe an eighth of an inch long, and that does very well. You just press right in there. And then the body just presses straight down over the top of it. Should be a perfect fit. And it gives very nice results. So I've broken out the original axles here. It's not too hard to do, just uh, get a good grip on there and a firm pull out. Break out pretty easily without too much risk of damage. Took off the drawbar, and I also removed the weights I had in there because I did find that this chassis doesn't really like being top heavy. So if I want to add any weight to it, I'll put the I'll put it on the bottom instead. So now I'll just uh, line up the chassis in there. Press that down in place. And it's all done. Looks quite a bit better with the seats in there. Just having an interior. Adding some window glass will make that look even better. Put that on the track. Rolls along nice and smooth. Doesn't complain too much about those bumps.